One man has overcome tough odds to be on the sidelines at Lane Stadium tomorrow. Cornell Cranham was born weighing only about one pound and was not likely to survive. 10 Sports reporter Brooke Leonard shares his story of persistence and how Virginia Tech is making him part of the team. Okie fans may have noticed a new face on the sidelines this season. Cornell Cranham has teamed up with voice of the Hokies John Laser to assist with the radio broadcast, and he's quickly become a part of the team. It's, uh, it's always go, good to go see him smiling, uh, always get my spirit good. But now with his bad play, come off the field, he's back there. I know I can count on him to cheer me up. That spirit tested from birth. He's been facing some of the longest odds the game of life has to offer. Um, Cornell was a, uh, a baby born premature at Children's Hospital, just a little over a pound, crack baby, and um, was sort of left there. Parents couldn't take care of him, and we ended up bringing him home. My wife was his occupational therapist. At birth, the doctors believed there was a chance Cornell wouldn't live. Then, when the Cranums brought him home, they were told he would likely never speak or even walk. But then he did. It's just been this sort of unbelievable um, story of persistence and just incredible attitude. And um, you know, in the process of trying to help this little boy, he sort of transformed all our life. A story of a miracle so pure that John Cranham decided to write about it and published a book called The Cornell Effect in January of this year. Months later, voice of the Hokies John Laser got his hands on it. I was so captivated by Cornell's story and you know, at the beginning it seems hopeless. You know that it's not going to be because of course there's a book written about it and I knew a, a few of the minor details of his life but then by the end it's just such a joyous thing. Laser was so inspired by his story, he decided to bring Cornell on to their broadcast team. And as a lifetime Hokie fan, it's a job he doesn't take lightly. So what I've been doing is I've been writing stuff down for Wes, uh, Wes McElroy, and listening to Justin Hamilton, and then I report back to Wes, and then Wes reports back to Lays. But his work doesn't stop there. He's also touching players' hearts. Cheer me up, cheer everybody else up, you know? And he's a, he's a, big, he's a big part of our team uh, when it comes to that. The Cornell effect indeed. In Blacksburg, I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports. Wow. Nice story. Before the game from 3 to 5, there will be a book signing for the Cornell effect. John Cranham donated 200 of his books for the event, and all the proceeds will go to Mental Health America. That'll take place in front of Castle Coliseum.